Can you believe it's almost September already? I love the fall. As we look ahead to the end of 2021, it's time to dust off those retirement income plans due to the return of RMDs. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and today we're going through an overview of the RMD changes so that you have enough time left in the year to make any necessary changes. Now, before digging in, what's an RMD again? It's a required minimum distribution. It's a mandatory withdrawal from your traditional IRA or other pre-tax type of accounts. You must start taking RMDs when you reach a certain age. We'll get into that here very shortly. Now, they say the RMD rules are supposed to spread out the distribution of your interest in your pre-tax accounts. Now, I say the real reason is the tax you before you die, but what do I know? The purpose is to ensure that people don't defer taxation and leave these retirement funds as an inheritance. Now, if you don't take the RMDs or fail to withdraw the total amount by the deadline, the amount not withdrawn is taxed at 50%. 50% crazy, right? So clearly, it's better to follow the rules here. Now, unfortunately, they can be very confusing, especially with some of these changes. Now, there were rule changes made by the SECURE Act in 2019. Plus, the RMDs also had a brief break in 2020, initiated by the CARES Act. So let's unpack these changes that were put on by this pandemic. Now, before the SECURE Act took effect in 2020, RMDs started the year you reached age 70 and a half. So folks who reached age 70 and a half before January 1st of 2020 fall under the pre-SECURE Act rules. And once they reached their required beginning date, they had to take the first distribution by April 1st of 2020. But the CARES Act delayed this. The combination of the SECURE Act and the CARES Act means that there are still some people who reached age 70 and a half in 2019 who might finally be required to take their first RMD in 2021. So what if you reached age 70 and a half on December 31st of 2019? The pre-SECURE Act rules apply. You would owe an RMD for both 2019 and 2020. However, if you delayed your first RMD until April 1st of 2020, you avoided both RMDs for both years. So what's the catch? In 2021, you will really have to take your first RMD. And that's due by the end of 2021, not April 1st, 2022. Ugh, are you getting confused or are you getting all this yet? So finally, let's say you reached age 70 and a half on January 1st of 2020 or after that. The SECURE Act rules push your RMD age requirement back to 72. And since you won't turn 72 until 2021, you won't have to take the first RMD until April 1st of 2022. Are you getting all this? Whew. I know it can be pretty confusing. So if you're worried, take a breather. As long as you take them by the end of the year, you're going to be fine. There's no high cost or benefit to take RMDs out early if you don't have to. So my advice is to plan ahead and do the math now. Don't wait to scramble during the holidays and put our staff through a lot of work as well. Speak with a fiduciary advisor who can understand your situation. Now you can reach one coincidentally by calling or visiting Trajan Wealth. We would be honored to help. So until next time, take care.